in the last session uh, we were discussing about uh, the crossover operators the different crossover operators that is available or that are commonly used in uh, genetic algorithm that we were discussed the next uh, operation the next uh, uh, component in, of genetic algorithm is mutation and uh, in mutation what are the different uh, mutation operators that is uh, commonly being used in genetic algorithm that we will discuss today so the mutation actually mutation is a local search process local search in the sense in the case of global search what we are doing is we are searching the entire uh, search space the entire search space we are checking for better options or better solutions but in the case of uh, mutation operation what or in the case of uh, local search uh, mutation operation is uh, local search operation in the local search what we are searching is we are searching only in the nearby areas in the nearby localities that is uh, we will be making very small changes for this uh, chromosomes and we are checking whether uh, the new newly obtained chromosome is better than the previously available one so that is uh, the mutation process so in the case of crossover it is a global search procedure that is a uh, large changes are made in a chromosome but in the case of mutation procedure it is a uh, or mutation operator it is a local search procedure in which only uh, minor changes very small changes are made in a chromosome so for example like uh, uh, see here is uh, one chromosome 10110110 so out of this we are changing only one bit or one particular position one gene is changed that is one a one one percent here this one is changed to zero so this is actually a new uh, chromosome or a new individual uh, derived from this individual with a small change that is in this case the change is uh, the one is changed to zero so the new chromosome will be one zero one zero zero one one zero so this is the new chromosome so this type of small changes these small changes are called the mutation operators so there are a variety of different types of mutation operators available so this is the case where uh, the mutation operation that is happening in the case of zero one representation that is the binary representation of uh, chromosomes or binary representation of individuals but in the case of numerical representation that the numerical values if we are representing the numerical values it can be uh, something like this the minus 69.4 is slightly changed to minus 67.5 only a slight change is there that is only a change of uh, value 2 2 is uh, happening here or uh, 2 or 1.9 is happening here so that is a very small change compared to that uh, the value of a particular variable or particular g that is 69 the value of uh, that particular gene is 16 and the allele of that gene now we call the value as an allele so that allele of that gene is 69 uh, so that particular value is changed to only 67 so that a small change is happening so that particular small change uh, may result in a better uh, chromosome or a better individual that is the concept of mutation so uh, causes movement in the search space uh, local or global the global changes happens because of this small changes there may be a large jump in the uh, fitness function so that is how it is known as the global normally it is uh, the local changes not uh, global changes are attributed to mutation the global search is attributed to crossover in the case of genetic algorithm so it restores lost information to the population like uh, uh, in the case of uh, a population if some uh, information is lost because of crossover or because of selection selection procedure because of uh, some specific uh, chromosomes were not selected because of uh, its similarity with other chromosomes so that can be restored it may be restored because of uh, this small changes so uh, in the normal cases in most of the normal cases this uh, individual as well as this individual will, will be having uh, fitness values which are very close which are very similar or uh, it won't be much bigger uh, there won't be much bigger difference between the fitness of these two that is the condition in this case also in these two cases also there is a, in normal cases uh, in some uh, specific cases or special cases there can be 
there is a possibility that um, a large changes in uh, from i mean the fitness values is possible but uh, in most of the cases in the normal uh, values or the normal uh, problems there is if there is a, there is a small changes in uh, one of the genes the value the fitness value won't be changing much there won't be a large change in, in the fitness values so this is uh, the two different types of or not the two different types the same type of mutation actually in different types of uh, individual representation or the chromosome representation so the different mutation operators that uh, that are commonly employed in genetic algorithm are these uh, five crossover uh, i mean uh, the mutation operators that is bit flip mutation random resetting swap mutation scrambled mutation and inversion mutation obviously there are many other mutation operators available mutation operators as i said it creates a very small change to the uh, current chromosome or the current individual it makes very small change so any operator or any operation that can make a small change to a particular chromosome can be considered as a mutation operator so there are a number of uh, different types of mutation operators available in uh, literature but uh, commonly the most commonly used mutation operators are these five things that is the bit flip random resetting swap mutation scrambled mutation as well as inversion mutation now let's see uh, the mutation operators one by one <coughs> So the first we go for the bit flip mutation as the bit flip mutation as in the first example itself we have seen that is one particular bit of that uh, set of bits is uh, changed so in the case of binary coded uh, gs it, we can consider each gene as a bit because it is only a zero or one so in the case of bit also it is either a zero or one so this case this type of uh, chromosomes are binary chromosomes and they are also uh, representing the bits of a particular memory so that uh, that's why if we are changing one of the genes or one of the positions then it can be considered as we are changing the bit so uh, here uh, in this case here it is a one and it is changed to zero so that is a we are flipping that bit one can be either changed to zero or zero can be changed to one so that way we are flipping the bit only one change is done at a time that is in the case of mutation only one change is employed at a time so this bit flip mutation is uh, used for binary encoded gs because we are changing only one element or we are flipping the value of one element from zero to one or one to zero so that is uh, the bit flip mutation Uh, random setting uh, resetting random resetting is uh, in the in the case in the example in the first example we have seen in the second uh, uh, second thing that is here we are say, uh, randomly resetting one particular value to some other value so that is the random resetting so, so an extension of bit flip for the integer representation maybe it is an integer representation or actually uh, this uh, numerical representation so a random value from the set of permissible values is assigned to a randomly chosen gene so that is the random resetting it is a random value from the set of permissible values is assigned so that is we are selecting a random value actually uh, for the mutation itself we have to select a random position uh, a random position among the entire chromosome positions are selected that is uh, a particular gene is selected randomly so that there is a randomness then that particular value, the value assigned to that particular gene is changed again randomly. So that is uh, two uh, random operations are coming up there. But in the case of bit flip uh, operation, there is only one randomness is coming up because uh, the position is selected at random. The other operation is fixed. That is, if it is one, it has to be changed to zero. If it is zero, it has to be changed to one. But in the case of random resetting, uh, the selection of the value uh, that is to be assigned to that particular gene is also chosen randomly. So then next is uh, the swap mutation. That is uh, uh, 
we select two positions on the chromosome at a random and then we interchange the values that is common in permutation based encodings that is in the case of permutation based encodings that is a list of items are to be arranged in different orders so in that type of like in the case of uh, traveling salesman problem etc this swap mutation is very much useful uh, in this swap mutation actually we are selecting two different genes or two different positions in this case the first one is two and the second position is this one six so what we then this is we interchange the values that is six is placed in the uh, in the place of two and the two is placed in the position of six so that is uh, six and two are interchanged so this is uh, the swap mutation actually what we are doing is we are swapping two uh, genes the values of two genes are swapped so uh, in the swap mutation the important thing is uh, it is employed for uh, the permutation based encodings in the case of permutation based encodings uh, you know that a set of numbers or a set of values are uh, must in that particular chromosome so in this case there are 10 elements in this case that is uh, 1 to 0 to 9 0 to 9 is present so in all the chromosomes this 0 to 9 should be present and the values can be omitted and none of the values can be repeated also so uh, 0 1 2 3 etc up to 9 should be there so in this case if we swap two values then obviously none of the values are multiplied or one, none of the values are uh, coming as duplicate or none of the values are omitted so that will remain there but remain within the chromosome but in different positions so that is it so six and two but uh, in this case in this particular example it is six and two that are interchanged between each other so that is swap mutation then the next is scramble mutation uh, in the case of scramble mutation what we this is a subset, a subset of the genes is chosen and their values are scrambled or shuffled randomly that is what we are doing so this is also applicable to uh, this is also very much applicable to our uh, this type of i mean uh, for chromosome representation that is the permutation type chromosome representation in all the type of in most of the types of uh, chromosomes it, this can be employed but this is very much useful in the case of uh, the permute type of representation so here what we say uh, do is we select a subset of genes so here five genes are selected two three four five six uh, five genes are selected and the number of genes that is selected can also be changed randomly whether it is five whether it is six or four depends it depends on uh, a random value so a random value of uh, genes are selected but the random values i mean the genes selected should be continuous the uh, consecutive genes should be selected if we are selecting two and three uh, that is also possible only two values are possible but when only two values are selected and then we are flipping it or we are uh, swapping it it will become the swap mutation so at least three positions are required in the case of a scramble mutation so that is uh, uh, we are selecting at least three positions of three genes then what we does is two three four five six these five elements these five elements in this case we have selected five elements and these five elements are then uh, reshuffled or scrambled uh, randomly that changing can be random uh, in a random order see here the order is three six four two five it can be any order any order no problem but it will be a random uh, shuffling uh, no specific rule is assigned for uh, shuffling it that is why it is scrambled mutation so we are scrambling a set of or a subsequence of uh, genes in a chromosome and uh, reinserting that uh, shuffled sequence into that position so that is the scrambled mutation this can also be used in the case of permutation uh, representation as well as uh, in other in the case of um, our binary representation or binary encoded ga this is uh, useful this this is this can be used in the case of binary gs also 
in the case of other gs also this is possible no problem we can use uh, scrambled mutation in almost all the type of uh, representations all the type of chromosome representations you can use the next is uh, inversion mutation so in the case of inversion mutation it is a very simple it is actually uh, a variant of this uh, scrambled mutation in this case what we do is we select a subset of genes uh, same as in the scrambled mutation but instead of sub, uh, shuffling the subset uh, instead of uh, shuffling the subset what we does is we invert the entire string we invert the entire string in the sense the first element in the uh, string in the substring comes at the last position and the last element comes in the first position so like this so in is a two three four five six is selected then this is inverted that is six five four three two so six five four three two so this is the inversion operation or the inversion mutation so this one six five four three two so the uh, the string is reversed or we are inverting the strings the entire string in the subset so if it is binary encoded things it can be done in two ways in the case of binary encoded uh, strings this can be done in two ways in the uh, one thing say it is a zero one uh, one zero one so in one way it can be done as reversing this that is one uh, zero one one zero this way it can be done this is uh, uh, what you say actually reversing the string if it is inversion that is uh, we are flipping it we can also flip that particular string also that is this zero is flipped to one one is flip, uh, flipped to zero and this one is again flipped to zero uh, zero is flipped to one one is flip, uh, flipped to zero so there is a slight change slight change in this uh, value as well as this value so that type of uh, mutation is also possible in the case of uh, uh, inversion mutation in the case of i mean uh, this type of inversion mutation is also possible in the case of binary encoded gs so depending on the problem in hand you have to select your type of uh, mutation which type of mutation you have to do